Okay guys, as we talked about, I've got the, I'm out here in the field on my mom's ranch in Oklahoma. Got the QRP guys, and I don't know how far this is gonna stretch out. So what I'm gonna do is kind of lay it out first, then I'm gonna run it up the uh, soda beams mast and kind of get an idea. Then I'm gonna run a feed line into my room so I can work tonight because it's getting dark. It's about, it's the end of December here in North America and that means it gets dark very early. All right, so I'm just gonna start laying it out and get kind of an idea. I'm gonna start with the ground first, kind of get a feeling of how I wanna position this so I can operate from my room tonight. I've never unraveled this before. First time use, first time use ever with this antenna. It's a December night, I'm actually hot right now. It's probably 60, Four degrees or so I actually need to take this off I'm really I'm starting to sweat because you know you just start moving around out here at, even though it's December it's crazy there's actually thunderstorms supposed to come through Oklahoma tomorrow night in the and it's almost New Year's New Year's Day man crazy weather having fun though I've already deter determined that I need some wire winders because this is such a mess. This is a mess, man. Do not want to be doing this. This is anti-fun. Untangling wires is anti-fun. That's why you need good wire winders. This will ruin a trip, man. This will ruin a trip. So what I did was I hung this up in the tree. It's a bit of a bizarre setup here. I'm not going to lie. Um, I kind of used just what was around me. So that's the hot end. That, that wire there is so freaking long, it goes all the way up that mast, way down the hill. I should have, I don't want to put too much pressure on that because that, I don't want to snap that. See, so I have it, it kind of sags on purpose. Um, but I have it up off the ground, that would be north. Not real sure where to run the counterpoise, so I ran it to the south. I don't know if it should be kind of like that. And I got it up off the ground too. So I don't have it laying on the ground, I have it a few feet up. So hopefully my dipole here, what worries me is the cable I'm gonna put, put on here will bend that down too much. I don't want a whole lot of weight on that. It's not a really good branch. I might have to change that up. But let's take a look at the setup for tonight. We have dipole, QRP guys. This is the soda beams, it's leaning quite a bit. I have it taped down there over there, I'll show you. And then we have counterpoise over here I have a hole in my bedroom window over here I made a hole I'm gonna run a cable out here to BNC and that's it that is bending quite a bit it's quite a fishing pole I don't like all that pressure on there um, it's this very light pole it's a very light pole I actually don't have it at the very top I have it down a few few notches so it's not at the very top So, as I mentioned, I ran the coax outside through the window. I have a little hole in the screen and I just pushed it through back down here into my radio. Alright guys, here we are in my old bedroom as, that I grew up in as a kid. And it's very strange to be working inside. I'm used to working outside so much, it's weird to be away from the elements. So, I'm on 7041. 7041, you probably can't see that. Um, let's hit tune. 1 to 1. 1 1.0 to 1. Alright, tune's right up. Um, not hearing anything though. 
7043. There's some kind of contest going on, and I'm going to try to answer it. So the way you do that is you listen, and you listen and see what the exchange is like. Um, and let's, let's just do that right now. 270. So he was number 270. I will be number 001 when I send that to him. So whenever you make a contact, you increment it by one. So he's at 270. That's all I know right now. I will be 001 since it's my first contact because they'll want a number. So let's listen some more. I heard an X. Now I've got the little decoder on here and it's helping me on the KX2. And I wish I could show show you that, but so RAC is a contest, contest, RAC, rack, K9D4. I don't even have a key plugged in yet. He's gonna listen for a while and try to figure out what's going on. I think all you do is I send my call sign, a 599, and a 001. K1JB. K1JB. Seventy-one. K1JB. If you just type a one, it's confusing. So you should type a zero zero one or a zero one. Okay, he's having trouble getting my call sign. And he's having trouble getting my call sign. That's probably my fault. I'm a weak station, but I got that in there. K1JB, let's log it as a contact. These are actually kind of fun. You just have to listen and listen and listen and get the beat and the rhythm. And all you have to do is send your call sign and a 599 and your number. For me, it was 01. He asked me for my number twice. It's kind of like, it's, you're number one, you know. Um, these are actually easier to do than a, in a regular queue, so you just got to listen. Yeah, they go fast, but it's the same thing over and over. Let's call this guy. Now I've got the backlight on here. To do that you could turn this on. I don't like to turn it on because it turns the battery off. Do you want to see how to zero beat this? Wait till they're transmitting. and it beats it over here. All right, let's try to contact him.
I don't think he can hear me. He's having a QSA right now with somebody else, so... can't hear me. I give up. Forget it. I'm tired of that. You know, I'm definitely not in this contest. I'm just playing around and showing you how to make a contact during contest. V7. I want to make sure I get the call sign before I call myself. He's He would be number three for me. Why not? I think that's Canada, but he went quiet on me. just disappeared just like that Let's keep moving V8. Look at all those people trying to talk to him. All these people. I am not winning this battle. This one, this guy's by himself. I heard somebody. Seven oh three eight point oh three. Where'd you go? I just realized I was working an offset for the la just the last time. I did not know that. If you hit the wrong button, it's in the offset, and I was transmitting on a different frequency. I really hate that, man. The fact that that's so easy to do. I just want you to look and see how good it's decoding right now. Notice that I'm spot on. I hit the spot button. It's right there in the middle. Look how good that is. That signal is really doing a good job of decoding. Let's listen.
these guys are having quite a little uh, QSO here. Now, let's try something. I'm going to try a straight key QSO. November 9, Yankee Oscar. I'm sorry, did you get me November 9, Yankee Oscar? November 9, Yankee Oscar. November 9, Yankee Oscar, N9YO. Not hearing much activity out there. All right, thank you guys for joining me here in the woods of Oklahoma where I have my mom's house. We got about 10 acres out here. I get to play a lot. I would actually do a lot more. I'd set up like an inverted V if I had more time, but we're on vacation. We're going here. We're doing the shoving at the kids. We're opening presents and all that. Uh, it's almost New Year's Day 2020 and we're gonna have thunderstorms here and I'm sweating with this on uh, Had a lot of fun. Be sure if you like these videos to hit the like subscribe the alert button if you don't like these videos then Don't have to watch them. Just kidding. All right. Anyway, thank you for joining me here in the woods of Oklahoma I hear things walking around back here probably deer seriously thinking about setting up a little deer stand here um problem is this is five hours away from my home in St. Louis area so getting on down here to deer hunt not so easy anyway thanks for joining me we'll see you next time